When you're making images for the web, of course you want the colors in the images to look the same to your audiences when they view the image in a web browser as the colors do when you are working on the image in Photoshop. To achieve that kind of consistency, you'll make use of some color management features in Photoshop. The color management approach that print designers use, which is to tag an image with a color profile, isn't the best way to go when you're designing for the web. That's because today many web browsers still are to sRGB. To see all three That's the menu bar on a PC, and I'm going to click the Arrange Documents menu. And then That's the menu bar on a PC, and I'm going to click the Arrange Documents menu. colors. So the lesson is that when you're trying to manage color in your web images, first set Photoshop's working RGB color space to sRGB in the color settings dialog box. And you can do that with that one umbrella setting North America General Purpose 2. And then if you do happen to open an image that's tagged with a profile other than sRGB, you want to convert that image to sRGB. And that's done most easily in the Save for Web and Devices window using the checkbox that I just showed you. So that's the best way to match the colors that your viewers will see in your GIF or JPEG or other web-ready image in a web browser to the colors that you see in the image when you're working on it in Photoshop.